Hey guys, I'm going to do a tutorial on upgrading uh, netbooks memory or RAM, um, specifically on the Toshiba um, NB502 model. Um, what you're going to need is a small flat tip screwdriver and a small Phillips screwdriver. Um, most, I'd say probably about 90% of netbooks use DDR2 RAM. I prefer Samsung because I've had no trouble with them. They're also more energy efficient. And um, uh, you can, of course, you can buy um, non brand names for a lot cheaper, but I haven't had any trouble with Samsung. I've gotten a few bad memory modules from off brands that I've had to return before I got working ones, and I've had no trouble with Samsung memory so far. So what you're going to want to do is make sure all the system is completely powered down, not on sleep mode. Um, you can do that by watching the lights. If any of them glow orange, the system's on sleep mode, and you want to shut it completely down. Um, first of all, you want to make turn the netbook over and remove the battery. This is done by the locking switch. Just flip it like this. Pull out on this one, and the battery slides right out. And this is so we don't have any memory module problems um, and stuff like that um, also make sure you touch some metal that's grounded this is um, so that you uh, don't damage the memory module alright so I'm going to be installing two gigabytes and uh, if you don't know the kind of RAM that your computer uses um, Ask the manufacturer, look it up in the manual. Uh, if you don't know still, don't do it. Have someone else do it. What we're going to do is we're going to move, remove this small box right here by taking the Phillips, screwing this, which we then just remove the screw. And then this should pop out. If you don't have strong fingernails, use the flathead to pry it out. Usually it clicks in real good, especially the first time you open it, it's in there really tight. And then just unsnap these. And you have the old memory card. Um, so you can see it is Samsung, which is good. And uh, it's DDR2, it's one gigabyte. I'm going to be upgrading to... Um, two gigabytes so that I can play Minecraft better. Most netbooks actually, um, I'm going to set this now, actually come with about one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM. And so, upgrading to two boosts performance a lot, and I am in need of a performance boost, especially for playing Minecraft on this, which has to do a lot with RAM, as you can see. Here we have um, instructions. Oh goody. That's just what I need. Okay, what we're going to do now is take the 2 gigabyte module, and we're going to insert it. And it's just basically what you do is you just make sure that this and this right here are aligned you just then slide them in like this and push straight down and it goes into place then just simply snap the cover back on um, a word of advice before you go buying RAM most a lot of netbooks don't support over two gigabytes of RAM like this one doesn't so it's maxed out as of this video and um, some of the newer ones with dual cores, however, will take up to four. And um, so it just depends on your model. Look it up. Don't just guess how much it can take. Um, if you need more than two, then and you only have a single core, then you're pretty much out of luck. But um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter the BIOS. I pressed the wrong button. 
and on the BIOS, it should tell me how much RAM that is currently inserted. That way, I don't have to boot entirely into um, Windows. And see right here. Now, it says that my total memory is 2,048 megabytes, which is, that means I have 2 gigabytes of RAM now, instead of just 1. This means that the computer is completely accepted it and the memory upgrade is complete. Um, now I can completely boot into Windows, Linux, whatever you have, Hackintosh. I don't really know, I don't really care. Um, just whatever you use. And um, it should now be fully accepted. And um, thank you for watching my video.